back for another episode on Ironworker Survey and Layout. I've already got the total station set up and level and connected to the tablet and we're going to do something a little different today. So I'm going to hit the device button in the top there and then choose setup. Now typically we've been doing the resection setups which is we shoot two known points from an unknown location but this time we're going to do the known point button on the bottom left there. With this setup we still need two known points but this time we're going to set up the total station directly over top of one of our known points. So as you can see here we're set up over number 455 and this is this can be pretty challenging the first few times you do it. I can't really show it on the camera but we're going to look through this optical plummet use the reticle that's in there and get the total station directly over top the center of our known point and level at the same time. So it can be tricky but uh, with patience you'll get it. So we're going to go into the set system here and find our known point which is 455 and that's going to tell the system that that's where the total station is set up at. Alright, so there's 455. Now it knows that that's where the station is sitting. And I'm going to head over to our second known point to complete the check-in. Alright, here it is. I'm going to get the pole set up on here. And it's number 481. So I'm going to go into the map and choose number 481. Alright, so the total station isn't pointed right at the prism so I'm going to use the control that button in the middle left side there and get the station locked onto my prism alright there we go now I'm just getting plumbed up prism pointed right at the total station and when I'm ready I'll hit that trigger button in the top right corner there Okay, so you can see the computed distance and the measured distance are exactly the same. So that's a zero foot check-in. And we're going to set. So that's that. We're, we just did a known point setup instead of a resection. Alright, now I'm going to uh, turn the total station to where we're going to do the layout. It's up there at those wind girts on the wall. We're just going to give them an offset off of S6 so he knows where to locate that end of the wind girt. Alright, so here we are in the boom lift now at the first wind girt. Going to get to a position here where I can do everything I need to do. You might be able to see the total station down there on the floor. We're not very far from it. Grab the prism there. I'm going to do this layout with the prism taken out of the bracket. I'm just holding it in my hand like we did for the other vertical surface layout. Got to get that lock. Okay, there it is. So now I'm just going to get everything situated. I've got a big carabiner on the front of my harness. I can hang the prism pole from so I can have two hands free. All right, so I'm just gonna find a good spot. Three foot two will be center of that winger, so I'm gonna try and mark that on the wall. I'm gonna go into the total station and choose measure, layout, and then choose the line button there in the bottom left, and choose grid line S6. All right, so we're looking for three foot two, and there it is. So I'm just going to mark the point on the back on the back of the prism there. I'm just going to mark where that's at. All right, there's the first one laid out. 
going to move up to the next spot now. Alright, so the station's pointed below me. So I'm going to have to go into the control there and turn it up to, towards me. Choose that button in the center left and get into this screen here. And I've got the lock. Going to go for that same distance, 3 foot 2 off of S6 there. Alright, there it is. And I'm going to make the mark. Alright, I'm going to move up to the next location. Alright, so I want to take a moment and show you how the indicator lights on the total station work. You're going to use these when you're manually getting a lock with that control screen and the color of the light will show you what side of the prism that the total station is looking at so you know which way to turn it. So you're going to get a slow blink and then once you get a lock you're going to get a fast blink like you just saw there. So when I'm trying to get a lock I know that if I see a green light I need to turn the total station to my right and if I see a red light I need to turn the total station to my left until I'm able to get that lock. And here I'm just demonstrating that color change depending on which side of the prism it's looking at. Alright, got one more to lay out here. Alright, so that's it for this episode and I hope you learned something. I'll see you next time.